Take it another call? Hell no. Hell. Hey, good morning, everybody. As you can hear from my voice, I'm a little sick, but uh, I'm going to see if we can bring you on to this uh, car right here. So, so, we got the freezer. We got it running at temperature, minus 10. So, we're good to go right there. But we got to verify superheat at the uh, TXVs. So the first thing you want to do, we're going to override that EPR so that our uh, our superheat doesn't fluctuate. We're going to go right there to override. Yes. And we're just going to override it at 30%. All right. So that'll keep our EPR stable. Yeah, that'll keep our EPR stable, and I'll show you once we get to the uh, to the freezer. I'll show you all the uh, all the problems we had with it these last couple days. All right, guys. So we're here at the freezer. Uh, it's running minus ten right now, and the initial call for me was a callback, and um, these fans weren't running, so that was like at midnight on uh thursday so i come in here and i find the fan delay was keeping keeping the fans off so what i did was i bypassed it from here i saw the temperature start coming down and i told the manager look man we're gonna be here pretty late i'll be back in the morning so he said yeah just come back at you know six seven in the morning so i did and that's when we found out that this freezer was uh, this freezer was running really high superheat. So yesterday we come here, pull the screens. Um, screens are clean, and there was little dryers here. I'll post some pictures, but we had to cut these dryers out just straight piped it and uh after we did that we had to adjust superheat because because whoever was here before cleaned the screens they didn't check the dryers and they just adjusted the valve and i don't know how but this valve was uh closed almost all the way so we we had to spend some time yesterday slowly adjusting it back until finally we were able to get some uh changes but so that's all we're gonna do today, gentlemen. We're just gonna check superheat on this one, check superheat on that one, make sure we're not flooding back, and uh, leave it at about four degrees. So let me get set up here. Degree superheat. <clears throat> so I just turned this uh, valve out about, let me show you how much, from here to here. So that's not even a quarter turn. So we'll give it about 10 minutes and then see what um, see what the superheat comes down to. I'll post a picture of it. Right, guys, that was a little bit too much. <laughs> I went a little too far on the uh, adjustment. So we're gonna come back about yay much. We'll see. We'll see how how it lands. We want to get it between four to six degrees on the freezer. So check back in with you guys. All right, guys. So this one's done. Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> Guys, I've noticed that this iPhone gets funky uh, when it gets cold. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but on my screen, it's like, like if everything's like fuzzy. <laughs> uh, so I had to go back up to the E2. I had to re, uh, re override the EPR to 50%. Uh, 30 was just a little too low. So we did 50 and uh, we're, we're checking on, this is evaporator number two. So we're gonna set this one right now. This one was at zero, uh, zero degrees superheat. So it was flooding back. Uh, we're gonna give it a few minutes and see what we got and then we'll go re-verify that one with a 50% override. So uh, I guess this iPhone doesn't like uh, filming in the cold. So yeah, it is what it is. 
Alright guys, so we got this one dialed in at about between 4 and 5 degrees. I consider that perfect. I'm going to go ahead and button this up and then we'll just go uh, verify that one. This uh, superheat setting is a little bit of a waiting game. You adjust a little bit, you got to wait about, you know, at, at least 5 minutes until it settles in. And if you don't like it, you adjust a little bit and that's just kind of the way it goes. So, it's getting cold in here. <laughs> All right, guys, back at freezer one. And uh, this one's running at uh, 4.2 superheat. That is money. We are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and button this up and get out of here because my hands are feeling numb. <laughs> All right, guys, and before you leave, make sure you don't forget, take off your EPR override. So we're working on 15. Damn it, I gotta log in. <clears throat> Damn it, the third time I try to log in. Oh, motherfucker. Alright, guys, we're back. I accidentally froze it. But, anyways, <clears throat> we want to take off our uh, override. You hit enter, then you go to number three, override. And you click these two little buttons right here. So you're gonna go to no. See where you can see that best. There it is. No. Enter. 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 And then your refrigeration EPR valve should just do what it's designed to. 66. So we're doing pretty good. Um, we're gonna let it roll. <clears throat> And that is it, gentlemen. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. And I appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you guys on the next call.